Hey everybody, welcome to WZYK's NHL first round playoff coverage. I'm Sam and I'm here with my co-host, Stanley and Alex. Hey everybody. Hello. Well, let's first get to the news. Minnesota Wild fire head coach Todd Richards after two seasons with the team. Consecutive non-playoff seasons ended up coasting Minnesota Wild coach Todd Richard, Richards his job. General Manager Chuck Fletcher announced Monday that Richards has been relieved of his coaching duties effective immediately. I would like to thank Todd for the hood work he provided to the Minnesota Wild organization the last two seasons. and wish him the best in the future, Fletcher said. Now, let's take a look at the NHL officials for this year's playoffs. And the NHL officials for this year's playoffs are as follows. Referees. There were 20 referees. Paul Dvorsky, Eric Fullart, Mark Jonette, Greg Kimberly, Steve Kozori, Den Dennis LaRue, Chris Lee, Russ McCauley, Brad Mayer, Dan O'Halloran, Dan O'Work, Tim Peel, Brian Putchmera, Kevin Pollock, Chris Rooney, Francis St. Norrin, Kelly Sutherland, Stephen Welcome, Ann Walsh, Brad Watson. Linesmen, there were also 20 linesmen. Derek Amell, Steve Burton, David Brisebers, Scott Cherry, Greg Dvorsky, Pat Driscoll, Ryan Galloway, Shane Hayer, Brad Kovacic, Brad Lazarich, Steve Miller, Jan Murin, Brian Murphy, Johnny Murray, Murray, Dick Nansen, Tim Nowick, Pira Ray Kickart, Tony Sericola, Jay Shearers, and Mark Rewer. So what do you think of these officials, Stanley and Alex? I think they're very good officials and I hope and I hopefully um hopefully I think they'll be um they'll help out. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with Stanley on that. I'm gonna have to agree with both of you. Hopefully these officials keep these series queens. Now let's take a look at the number one and number eight matchups. Let's take a look first at the Western Conference. With the number one seeded Vancouver Canucks taking on the number eight seeded defending champion Chicago Blackhawks. So, Stanley, what do you think? Who do you think will win this series, and how many games do you think it will go? The Chicago Blackhawks will probably take a few games. How many? Six, five, four, three, two, one, probably seven. Probably, he'll probably, probably take about two games. Two, I mean, four, five, six, or seven. Probably about six. All right. Alex, what do you think? And don't say anything less than four. To be honest, I'm going to have to agree with Stanley because I think Stanley has a good point. All right. Well, in this matchup, I'm going to have to disagree with both of you. I think it's six games. Yes, I know the Chicago Blackhawks are the defending champions, but they're going to get bumped by the Vancouver Canucks in the first round of the playoffs this year. And the cup defense will be over. Now let's flip to the Eastern Conference in the 1-8 matchup where the Washington Capitals take number one Washington Capitals take on number eight New York Rangers. Now both these games, the Vancouver Canucks Chicago Blackhawks series kicks off Wednesday at 9 p.m. on Versus and CBC. Game one in the Rangers game is a, on Wednesday at 6.30 on Versus. This is Central Time, so it's 9 for the Vancouver game, Central Time. Versus and TSM for the 
Capitals Rangers game. So, what do you think of this series, Alex? I think it's pretty good. Who do you think's gonna win in how many games? Um, to be honest, I'm not really sure who's gonna win, but but I think like about six games. All right. What about you, Stanley? I agree with Alex. Alright, well, I think this one's going to the Rangers in seven. The Capitals have never been able to get done it come playoff time. Is this the year? Well, I sure don't think so. Now let's take a look at the two seven matchups. Let's kick it off with the two seven matchup in the West, which is two California teams, the San Jose Sharks and the Los Angeles Kings. Stanley, what do you think of this one? In this series, starts April 14th at 9 p.m. on TSN and versus. What do you think of this one? Who's going to win how many games? Um, which team again? San Jose and L.A. It'll probably take them about four, four games. L.A. is the seventh seed. San Jose is the two seed. What do you think, Alex? Yeah, L.A. Well, I'm picking L.A., but I'm saying it's going to take a full seven games. Now let's flip to the Philadelphia Flyers and Buffalo Sabres. Two-seed Philadelphia, seven-seed Buffalo. This series starts when, uh, Thursday at 6.30 on TSN and Versus. What do you think, Alex? How many games? Who's going to win? Philadelphia, um, maybe like a, um, maybe six. All right, what do you think, Stanley? Philadelphia, Buffalo, how many games? Philadelphia, probably about six. All right, well, you all agree with my bracket. I'm saying Philadelphia in six games, too. Now, Buffalo is revamped, but I'd say Philly. Now... Let's take a look at the 3-6 matchups. This is the Detroit Red Wings versus Phoenix Coyotes. From one season ago, Detroit took it in seven, and the seventh game was in Phoenix. The 3-seed Detroit versus 6-seed Phoenix. This game series starts Wednesday, April 13th at 6 p.m. on Versus and CBC. So... What do you think, Stanley? How many games? Who's going to win? The Detroit Red Wings and Phoenix Coyotes. Well, I'm going to have to go with the Detroit Red Wings, and um, they'll probably have to win four games. Four games? You're saying they'll win it in four games, correct? Correct. All right, what about you, Alex? Who's going to win how many games? Um, wait, Detroit Red Wings are playing, right? Yeah, Detroit and Phoenix. Alright, um, I think Detroit's gonna win, and about, let's say, yeah, I'm guessing about seven games. Alright, I agree, Detroit's gonna win in seven games. It's gonna take the full series for Detroit to win once again. Now let's take a look at the 3 6 matchup in the East, which is two original six teams. The Boston Bruins and the Montreal team, Montreal Canadiens, three-seeded Boston, six-seeded Montreal. Game one, April 14th, which is Thursday at 6 p.m. on RDS versus and CBC. So, Alex, who do you think is going to win this one? How many games? Montreal, I guess. And how many games will it take them? All right, Stanley, what are you thinking? Who's going to win how many games? I'm going to go with the Boston Bruins in six games. I'm going with the Boston Bruins in five games. Montreal was just, they had a great one last year, but this year I think Boston is going to take this series in round one. Now, the fourth-seeded Anaheim Ducks and the fifth-seeded Nashville Predators this series starts April 13th, which is Wednesday at 9.30 p.m. on TSN. 
Now remember, this will also be on Fox Sports Tennessee for those of you living in Tennessee. So, and I'm Nashville. Who are you thinking, Stanley? Hold on. Stanley, could you repeat yourself? I'm going to go for Nashville. And how many games? Seven. Alex, what about you? Nashville Predators. And how many games? Um, two. It can't be two. It's got to be four or more. All right, I'm taking the Nashville Predators, but it's going to take them six games. Now, a final 4-5 matchup. Pittsburgh Penguins, fourth seed, Tampa Bay Lightning, fifth seed. This game kicks off at April 13th at 6 p.m. on CBC. That's Wednesday. So, Alex, who are you liking in this one? Pittsburgh. And how many games? Uh, well, I guess I'll go with six. All right, Stanley, who are you liking in this one? How many games? <laughs> Stanley, could you pick, could you repeat yourself? I'm taking the Tampa Bay Lightning in six games. And, all right, well, that's it for this show. Remember, um, to enter the NHL Enterprise Hattrick Challenge. Go to NHL.com Playoffs Challenge if you want to compete in NHL brackets. Also, remember, stay tuned. Tune to WZYK for all the NHL playoff scores and stay tuned for the weekly scoreboard on WZYK as we will have the scoreboard up weekly of all sports, not just NHL playoffs. We promise you that NBA playoffs are also right around the corner. That's starting, so we're going to do shows on the NBA playoffs, but starting, I think, two weeks. And just stay tuned for all your playoffs coverage for all sports. Well, thanks for tuning in. Bye.